Hey guys, we're going to be putting a JDM SG9 cluster in a 06 Forester. So here we go. So you want to go here, put that down, push down, click it back up. And there's two bolts right there and there. Get them out. So you just basically fanatical the screwdriver there and that one. Yeah, I know. So I've taken the both screws out, or the bolts or the screws. So you can pull it back. So both screws are there. You pull it back slowly. I have a lot of shit in here, so you pull it back. You've got to get it up and around. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get. you got to squeeze it out slowly. I'll be back when it's out. Just got to pull it out on an angle and it will come out. But you just got to pull it downwards. Um, I, just because I have a microphone for my radio there, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. And then you slide it from the side and it shouldn't come out pretty mint. Okay. And then when you're in here, you should see a bolt here, a bolt down there, and a bolt down in that corner. Take them out and we're good. We've taken those extra three bolts out. So from there, there and there slowly pull the cluster back out get it upwards like this and start to unplug the plugs for the clusters there should be three so one on that side one in the middle and one on that side so take them out there's a push tab on the top so you should be able to easily get it out i'll be back in a second the old clusters out Here's the new one, so we'll basically do it in reverse, put it in, and just install the connectors, the three connectors, one up here, one up here, and one up here, and right here, there is these cable things, try to get the cables into these grooves, and go from there, I'll be back in one second. Put those three tabs in, or the connectors, just move the connector back, into position, get it into the little grooves, Try to get it up in that spot perfectly fine like that. I haven't got one tab down here, but that should be all right. If you just mount it nicely, it should be perfect. So get that screw back down here in. This one, which I don't have, and the one up at the top. After you've got those three bolts in, so one down there, one down there. If you have a connector like me or tab, um, then the top one. And then you'll just get your face shield and just basically do what you did to install it. Do that in reverse and like that. Push it over the top, over my little microphone thing. If it's being a pest like me, it might be a little bit annoying. So just like this. Okay. Just got it over that little hump. It would be much easier on your model if you didn't have that. Get that little piece of towel or something down there. And remove the little cable if you have a thing for your phone there and basically push it in. Rinse all those two bolts up here. So you get your two bolts and just install them. Is in, see if it works, if everything works right. You might have accidentally clicked some things. Make sure your car's in neutral if it's a manual. There we go. Seems to be working. There you go, that's how you install your JDM cluster.